Hello everyone, the date today is 2019-09-28, the fourth and final Saturday in September. It's been a while again, hasn't it? Well, yeah. So today, uh, what we're going to do is draw, but more specific, well, I'm going to draw in three-point perspective, um, again, which is yeah, whatever. I've done this once before, I think, but that got corrupted. Hopefully this doesn't do that, and yeah. I, and there was another one that I just did recently, which is probably why there's a stray mark right here. Um, whatever, that's fine. We're gonna do something over it anyway, so... Uh, yeah. So, three-point perspective. What is three-point perspective? Well, you know two-point perspective. Uh, we'll use just this, this part. Uh, is there a way to zoom in more? Yeah, there we go. Uh, so, three, two points perspective was basically, so say you have a horizon line right here, but that horizon line does not look straight, but whatever. So, I'm using, should use a pencil, yes, pencils. Right. Uh, so yeah, draw the horizon line. Whatever the, 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 you know what? There we go. More confident strokes. That's what I, uh, one vanishing point would be right here, and say another vanishing point would be right here. Basically, um, things that go this way, parallel this way, would, you know, converge to that. And then going this way, it would converge towards that. And then you'd get, like, two-point perspective. Three-point perspective adds another vanishing point, but it's not on the horizon line. It's somewhere else. I think it's above. We'll put one down here. I don't know, somewhere here. Uh, so, yeah. There's one vanishing point. There's two vanishing points. And then there's three vanishing points. Three-point perspective, starting now. So, how does it go initially? So, you start with just two-point perspective. Um, well, okay, so the horizontal lines, or no. Uh, I don't know what you call these lines actually. So, first part would be like this. So, these types of lines. So, and then from this side, it would go something like that. And then, I don't know, whichever one. So, this one, since this one is the back side, uh, this one also has to go that way. So, uh, Something like that. Then this one, same thing. There we go. So that's yeah, that's still two point perspective. Now, where does the third one, this this other one down here, comes in? It's for these up and down lines. So instead of going down vertically, ninety degree angle, it's going down to this vanishing point right here, right there. So, going down. Actually, I don't know, maybe I should build it up. And this one also does the same thing. Maybe I made my vanishing point a bit too extreme. Because, yeah, that, that seems a bit too extreme. But, we'll work with it. Uh, and then the final one would be like, so actually it would be more like, Uh, more like this. Something like that, I don't know. Uh, so yeah, that that's vanishing point. I made a, uh, well, that's just currently an infinite uh, rectangular prism. I was going to say cube or square, but that, that's neither of those. It's cuboid. But uh, this one can also, so this one, we still do perspective like this. Currently eyeballing it because I can't do it straight. Maybe I shouldn't. So let's see. Just like this. So. Make that line bigger, and then this one, same thing. So start there. So. So yeah. 
is that, and then what you would like to do is erase. So erase most of these, and only have the ones that are specifically. Well, this one doesn't erase as good as you know the other ones, but it does make it so that I don't like if I want to go back, I don't have to deal with like we're undoing all the way back. And it still gives a good clear picture, and then I'll just go over that again, whatever that means. So, uh, which pencil? I think it was this one, four B, pencil three. No, I don't think it was, but yeah. So this one is going to be more refined, refined sketch. So doing one side. Then going back this way, same this way. And same thing this way. Whew. Yeah. So, uh, how's it been, everyone? We gotta ask that question. Uh, for me, it's been a while, obviously, because I haven't uploaded since, like, when was the last time I uploaded? Well, last time I recorded, I think, was in March. I think spring break and I didn't upload that till June because I don't know I didn't feel like continuing with this project but I, I'm, I'm continuing with this project anyways even if I don't feel motivated because well I don't know I have to work out the things and this is at least some outlet of making me work things out uh, at least it shows that I'm working something out I don't know what I'm working out well I'm working out my my, my, my speaking skill and my drawing skill and uh, maybe I want more than just you know drawing or speaking skills maybe I want to expand to other skills right now I just need these two and now I'm gonna go over this with this and no you know what no this is fine this is fine as a quick sketch of like what three-point perspective is kind of to some degree I did not make this very clear because it doesn't look right at all so I'm going to make uh, another one, but maybe I'll do the other side. So this one is uh, looking down. So this is what bird's eye perspective. Like there are two perspectives, the bird's eye perspective and then worm's eye perspective. And then, it, yeah, probably, I should probably put in the cards again. Like I, I haven't been paying attention to doing that. I should really do that to make sure that people know what I'm saying. And there's, well, no, if people are confused about what's going on, then they can go look at, you know, the professionals. And they can look at that and then criticize me for not following the professionals. I don't know. So, next one is. Right, Worm's Eye's perspective. No, yeah, Worm's Eye perspective. So, get that vanishing point. And this looks small. So, there's this. And this, this, and this. And you know what? I'm going to use the same vanishing point from earlier. This one right here. But, you know, since it's going up. Yeah. So, let's see. What, what do I do next? I think. Yeah, you know what? Uh, yeah. So, let's see. This one is these types, so. Then looking, I don't know, hang on. What if I made it more extreme like this? And then this also is more extreme. I'm doing still the same cube ish type shape. And then, nah, that's way too extreme. So both of those are too extreme. I think the middle ground would be like this, yeah. Which I was doing initially, but I. I See, this is this is what you got to do. You don't know how things work until you actually put them on and actually see them, and then yeah. Should probably yeah. so okay. There's this, and then there's this. I want 
Wait, why am I working? This is backwards from what I'm working. I want a square cube thing right here. So, vertical lines obviously come from this way, so going down. Uh, this one points this way. This is going out. And this one points this way. So that's the corner of the cube. It's floating. So that's the inside or outside? No, inside? I think so. And then this one. What am I doing? It doesn't seem right at all. See, this, this is the thing. I get confused about three-point perspective because I don't remember which way comes first. I want to make a square. So this square, bottom part. Bottom part goes this way. That's one. And then that's two. I'm doing it wrong. Oh. No. Um... Then vertical goes that way, so Oh okay, yeah, now I see the square. I, I think. Kind of. So so this one oh so this isn't actually like I think I'm doing it on its side actually. So the, this is the face. This is There we go. Now I see it. Now it is Kind of. So, actually, wait, no, this is two point. This feels two point, I think. It should be three dimensional. This is this is the exact same problem I had with the first one, which is I got confused as to which one comes first. Huh. Can't go back anymore. Maybe I just made it way too high. Okay. Let's start again. This is point one. This is point two. If I was doing two point perspective, like let's say this is the corner, because that's, though it's slanted because of the other vanishing point. So this one comes this way, this way. And then the other one comes this way and this way. So something like this might work. So yeah. And then from this side it would be the same but opposite. Sure. And then from this, you're basically doing the same thing, but here, these are for the verticals, or basically verticals. Okay, and then from the inside here, that would be the same, like, this, not that, this, and then this, or this, there, okay, there we go, now I understand, okay, so it's cube looking up, and then you see this is the bottom, this is the one side, this is the other side, and now, okay, now I understand, so if you can do mental rotations of like the cube, just pretend you're looking, so first, I guess one point perspective is just actually don't know how you would do that whatever so my thing is basically um, first find where the two vanishing points are so here's the two vanishing points right there one two okay so that's two vanishing points one of them goes this down here one of them goes down there so these are the parallels or no parallel to the horizon so as in so one side is parallel to this part of the vanishing point and then one parallel to this side of the vanishing point and then Whatever the vertical lines are, or whatever you call vertical in this case, 
say, the other vanishing point, the non-horizon vanishing point, those would be a different line. So these types of lines, go to that one, this type of line goes to that one, and then anything that goes up in this case, because that's where my vanishing point is, that's the other one. So now, just quick color, like quick shade, not shading. Uh, I should probably do that as well. I should also probably tell you what my future plans are. So currently I'm not working on the project I set out in what, like December? Which was only a couple of years ago, which is not weird. Uh, so yeah, um, I'm not going to work on the video. Wait, no, no, not the video. The uh, whatever application design yet. I have no idea what to do yet. I haven't thought of that. I should probably finish school because school is starting week one, like first week of school starting in, in this week, this, this coming week, because today is a Saturday. So this week would be last week and whatever, it's the week that's coming, the coming week. Uh, so yeah, now I'm doing like quick shading because that's what this pencil does, quick shade. Ooh, yeah, that's good. Um, yeah. I don't know if I'm going to make it this, like, a, I'm hoping for semi-regular uploads, at least, to some degree. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, the light's coming from, like, this side. So that's where the light, light, light beam is. So, yeah, there. This has very, actually, so... I would say this is specular highlight, and then this is slightly shaded. So yeah, that's that's my cube. Those are my two cubes. It looks kind of good. At least it looks like normal. And then this one a little bit less normal. Wait, wait. I know how to make this make this look normal. There we go. De-emphasize those lines. I should have done this before I put on like more of the specific ink, more like exact ink. But whatever, what are you gonna do? Just go back and undo all that? Me? I'm not doing that. That that would be insane for me, especially since I should probably end this video soon. Uh, so yeah, just a quick recap. Uh, I, I quickly talked about three-point perspective, this, and then drew a bird's eye perspective on one end, and then on the bottom one, I got confused, and then, but eventually I figured it out, and I drew a worm's eye kind of perspective of cube floating. This one is like a cube on the ground, at least. But this one feels like a floating cube on the sky or something. Oh, maybe that's why. And then, um, after that, I, I guess, I, oh yeah, I shaded it, and then after that, it's done. Yeah, woo, okay. Sorry for the large class, uh, like large clap. Um, so yeah, now I guess I'm done. So thanks for watching and do whatever the things that YouTube tells us to do. Woo. <laughs> That's weird sometimes. Okay. Anyways, bye.